Hello everyone, this is Amir from Frame History. Today we will edit a wedding photograph and we will apply a color grading effect here. It will look really beautiful after the effect. Let's make it. At first we will copy the background layer, just simply Ctrl and J. Now we will go to gradient fill. From here I will go to reset gradient and I will select this one. Okay. Here I will adjust some. We will select style radial and angle around 120 and I will put the black portion on our subject and we will put the scale around 250 we will set the effect reverse from this thing we we have got a attention to our subject this way we have got the attention on our subject now we'll merge the layer just simply alt or control shift and e it will merge the layer now we'll go to filter camera raw filter and we'll adjust some setting from here at first we'll put the temperature around 20 and tint around 45 or even 50 will be better now we'll add some contrast here and we'll decrease the highlights around 70 or minus 80 and we'll also decrease the white around 70 or 80 and I will reduce the vibrant around 60 percent now I'll go to curve layer tool and from here I'll change a little bit and I'll set a matte effect here Next, I will go to detail from here. I will add some sharpening and luminance. Next, I will go to HCR adjustment. First, I will work with you. I will add some red. I will make it around minus five or six and I will work with orange i will make it around minus 10 or 12 and next yellow around minus 40 then i'll go to green plus 100 equal plus 100 and blue around minus 40 or 50 next i'll go to saturation in saturation i'll make little adjustment i'll put the orange around minus yellow around plus 30 next i'll go to luminance here i will add orange around plus 18 and green around minus 30 and aqua also around minus 30 and blue around minus 20 or something like this next I will go to split toning and I will make few changes also here I will put the hue around 195 to 200 and saturation around 
10 or 12. Next I will go to shadow slide and here I will put the shadow around 40 or 45 something like this. Next I will set the saturation around 10. From here I can add some Vignetic around 30 will be okay. We can also add some Vignetic here also. We have almost done this part. If you think this is so dark, you can add some exposure from here. It's up to you. Now we can see before and after from this part. We have done a major portion here. Now we'll go to next part. Okay. From mine, I have done my required color grading. If you think you need anything else, you can do it from here. Now I'll check before and after effect. This really dramatic change in few minutes. For this kind of tutorial, please stay with us and you can put your comment in our comment section. And if you want something like this or anything else, you can just put in comment section. Thank you for watching. See you in next tutorial.